Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. Let's go right into it. AEW terminates CM Punk with cause. This was a statement. This was put out yesterday, late afternoon. All Elite Wrestling has terminated the wrestler and employment agreements. So more than one one wrestling, you know, it's more than one contract, whatever he had. I don't know if this was like a merch deal or who, whatever it was. Wrestler and employment agreements between Phil Brooks, CM Punk, and AEW with cause effective immediately. The termination was confirmed today by Tony Khan, CEO, general manager, and head of creative for AEW. The termination follows a week-long internal investigation of the incident occurred, that occurred backstage at All In London on Sunday, August 27th. Following the investigation, AEW Discipline Committee met and later dis- uh, convened with outside legal counsel before making a unanimous recommendation to Khan that CM Punk should be terminated with cause. Khan's official statement was the following. Phil played an important role within AEW, and I thank him for his contributions. The termination of his AEW contracts with cause was ultimately my decision and mine alone. Of course, I wish I didn't have to share this news, which may come as a disappointment to many fans. Nevertheless, I am making the decision in the best interest of the many amazing people that make AEW possible each and every week. Our talent, our staff, venue operators, and others whose efforts are unsung but essentially essential to bringing our great show to television at the arena, stadiums, and throughout the world. Tony also addressed a live crowd in Chicago at right before Collision, and that video was all over the internet. Uh, so there were two videos. One was the official video package that you know they had pre-recorded. The other one was he addressed the live crowd, and he was booed heavily by that Chicago crowd. I mean, of course he's going to get booed, right? in Chicago. Tony dressed a live crowd before collision, then a video statement on uh, that, that began collision. Several people, people were investigated ahead of the decision. Khan said that he had never felt like his life was dan- in danger before this incident. Which, you know, this is very much a, a legal statement. The attorneys, I'm sure, consulted on this. And uh, supposedly there was a meeting scheduled that never took place also. So, listen, it's done. It's over, you know? And now we got to think about life after punk in this company. They can, they got to, first of all, they got to stop with the innuendos and the references, right? Now now it's over. I'm sure they'll do it tonight. But after tonight, they got to, they just got to let it go. This was a failed experiment for a multitude of reasons. You know, the reality is CM Punk does not want to politic. He doesn't want to play nice when things are said to him that he doesn't want to hear. Other people feel the same way. And it created a terrible scenario in that company. And, you know, at the end of the day, the only people really, I mean, it's billionaires and millionaires fighting with each other, right? Over the fact that they cannot figure out a way to to, to work. And listen, I'm not putting the blame on Tony. I, I I'm not putting the blame on any one individual. But, you know, I come from a, a, a corporate school that the blame is always put on management, not the staff. The staff learns from you. Your staff is only as good as the leadership. And if there is an issue with the leadership, situations like this will happen. It's not only on Tony. This company has expand, expanded very quickly. And they have attempted to to put in things, you know, that will alleviate this. But, you know, you have personalities that have known issues. Would this happen in WWE? Would a situation like this happen in WWE? You know, situations like this happen not regularly, not weekly, but they do happen in that company. But at the end of the day, they have... The structure built out where it doesn't turn into, uh, you know, a, a potential violent attack. You know, something that was said to me by somebody at, the, at WWE years ago, and it makes sense. There are certain individuals that do not make it to WWE or they come here and they fail in WWE and they could go off and do something else. But there's always a reason. 
When CM Punk left that company, everybody was cheering. Good on Punk. The blame was not on him for what happened in WWE. Even with the, the last scenario, last year, this time, the blame, you know, it was 50-50. There were people on the Punk camp. There were people on the Elite camp. But it was more, honestly, the people that were picking sides uh, on, you know, the fan side was just picking your favorite player more than anything else. But within the company, I mean, obviously, Punk has his friends and he has people on his side and they're able to work with him and they're able to communicate with him. And there's a tremendous amount of people on the other side that have had issues with them. And it seems like the issues are more, they outweigh the other side. Listen, it's just terrible. I, I, you know, when stuff like this happens, you always think about it. And, and for what I do outside of wrestling, I always think about what could I have done that could have prevented this? And what can I learn from this? I hope that's, that's, what we're, that's where we are with this. I hope AEW has figured out how to prevent this from happening in the future. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess, I guess the answer is you don't hire CM Punk again, right? I mean, there wasn't, this, this is just silly. Uh, nobody wanted this outcome. I could tell you that. Uh, I've spoken to people within the Warner organization last week when, you know, everything was happening. And everybody wants to make stuff like this work. But if there is camera footage of you... And by the way, I, I, I do not because I, I host a Wrestling Observer radio show, uh, not because I, I work with Wrestling Observer, but because of what Talon told me and what people within AEW told me that are very neutral to this. They don't have an, a negative opinion of Punk or Tony or anything. I was told that Dave's account was very much uh, uh, the closest to what happened in those words. This is coming from Talent. This is coming from people that work there. The talent names you would probably know the people are it's not it's not the usual cast of people that the internet talks about. So, you know, you can't lunge at your boss. You know, what would have happened if he did that to Vince? Maybe nothing. Maybe Vince would have patted him on the back. I don't know. Uh, I this is just so unfortunate. So I you know, I, I think we are we are past it now. I think we have to move on from the CM Punk bubble, the vortex in AEW. I mean, and here's the unfortunate part, right? These guys did an 80,000-plus stadium show. 90,000 people in the building. The only thing anybody was talking about, it wasn't the max outcome. It wasn't a tag match outcome. It was about CM Punk, once again, right? We got a pay-per-view weekend that he's not on. What are we talking about? CM Punk. It has become a, a, a vortex that's taken away from wrestling. And I'm not, again, this is no blame on the, on the, on the, the, the people that were involved. This is just, you know, just, just thinking out loud as someone that covers this. Like, I'm tired of it. I want to talk about the fun stuff. This is not fun anymore. How many times does something like this have to happen? And you say like, oh man, again, something happened. I hope this is a learning lesson for everybody. And I hope Tony putting his foot down and terminating him kind of checks people in line because he's not the only one that has problems with people. And this goes for WWE too. I mean, there are, there are people that are cranky and angry and fights happen all the time. And we've heard about previous fights with people. Sammy got into a fight. Andrade got into a thing. Uh, Eddie got into a thing with Sammy, you know, like, I, I hope this is almost a, a sobering moment for a lot of people saying like, maybe, maybe we don't react this way. Think of the harm that it does to everybody else involved. You know, Samoa Joe had a hell of a match. Nobody's talking about, nobody's applauding Samoa Joe, the match with CM Punk. Nobody's talking about any of it. It's all tainted. They took a really great moment and they turned it into something that you cannot work off the momentum. Because the momentum was was buried. And tonight we have a pay-per-view. And last night we had a pay-per-view. We're going to talk about All Out. And we're going to talk about the changes done to it. But I also, we're going to talk about Payback from last night. Interesting pay-per-view. I didn't dislike it. I actually had a lot of fun watching that in Collision. We're going to talk about that. And a whole lot more when we come back. Also, hey, do me a favor. Follow me on Twitter, at Andrew Zarian. Send me your questions. 
We'll be right back right after this on Sports Byline. Stay tuned.